here with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for our main event. 12 rounds in the light heavyweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. He's getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Macho. And he just holds on there. Good block by Silk. that blow and then a counter uppercut that uppercut nice block by macho that's a good left hand by Smith Proving to be elusive, and he engages in the clinch. Final ten seconds of round number one. And that's the end of round one. Silk's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. You need to throw more punches. The body. Bang the body. Hit that body. Listen, you're not working. You're not working on anything we worked on. You're not doubling your job. you got to work. Here we go, round two is underway. <laughs> well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not Silks is stunned, and bang, and away he goes. Right to the head and right to the canvas. One, two, three, four, five. He gets 
comes up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. See him with the left of the head there? He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Smith. All right, let's do it. Jump on. Nice. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Let's see some more head movement. Halfway through round number two. Nice solid left hand scored by Smith. Gets rid of that body shot. Defense can turn into offense. The counter punch by Smith. Keep moving, keep moving. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. And just grabbing on to his opponent. <laughs> Macho's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Damage. Can you believe this? Each man has hurt the other. <gasps> Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. How about that? What a round we just saw. I'm Both men were able to get to the other. Shots. Both men me? seemingly hurt Let's in that round. And the kind of round where the judge punch. really has to do his job. Everyone Jack else does their job. Trainers, Whatever managers, we're trying to do ours. But now it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Here you go. Look at that. Are you all right? Silk's coming off of a round where he was just dropped. Now he's got to go back out there. What's the mentality, Teddy? Well, right now what he's got to do is buy some time. You've got to be one of those time buyers. You know, you go out there and you say, you know, I want to be able to get, you know, a little bit of space here. You want to grab. You want to move. Anything. You can't worry about winning this round. That's gone all right. Survive the round. Get your head clear. You're going to win the other round. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. <laughs> Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Silk left, working well that time. Smith hurt by a big shot. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep this offense going and end his night. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Keep moving. Keep moving. You got this one. is in a bad place, and yet another big shot comes in. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. He went
went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Rash is home with the uppercut. Silk tagged by a hook. Targeting a left hand down low. Ten seconds of round number three. Come on, kid, focus. Three minutes gone by in this round. Okay, keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? Double jab, all right? He's timing it. Every time you come in, I want to see that double jab. Double jab, right hand, okay? Don't doubt yourself. You can still win. Macho's off to a really good start tonight. This is the first time we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see that he has it a clean sweep through three rounds. Silk's clinching a lot, Teddy, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I mean, you got to wonder if the referee's going to start coming in there, give him a few warnings right now. But... He's got to get himself together. That's what he's trying to do. And then hopefully he can find a way to get on the offense. Nothing there on the punch by Smith. looking for that's a miss right there by macho right to the belt line and he ties up on the inside 90 seconds to go in round number four Fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble landing any of these punches. Yeah, and it's not because his opponent all of a sudden is a great defensive whiz. You know, he's not Claude Waynes. He didn't all of a sudden become the invisible man. It's just that he's not landing because he's thrown him from too far away, as you said, very tired. Good block by Macho. Smith's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy. Does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. <laughs> Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than it has to be. Here you go. 
Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? I and mean, you are winning this fight. Yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him. Listen, I need to yeah. see some counter punches, okay? Whatever he misses, counter. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Looking good. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. him in the mug with the right. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. And he's holding. Pace yourself. Come on. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Macho. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit. Physically and mentally, the other guy is starting to impose himself on him. The start of the sixth round. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs.
look at right hand after he got hit. Unable to make an impact there by Silk. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Halfway through this round. Silk's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. You're not focusing! Macho's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Smith's defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, you take such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good, because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. One, two, one, two. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. We've reached the halfway point of this battle. Real good fight here. Tough to get a sense of. Who's really up? I could see making an argument for either guy, but that's a testament to both guys and what they've been willing to bring to this battle tonight. Yeah, and what it's a testament to, Joe, is that it's an enjoyable fight. After a while, you don't even concentrate on who's up. All you know is you're enjoying every bit of it. Jab, okay? Work that jab, then right hook to the body, then left hook to the head. All right? Body, head. Watch the water in the corner. So, he's tight. He's got nothing left, okay? Here we go, action to start the seventh round. Silk's now got to figure out a way to do exactly what he did in the last round here at the start of this round. Yeah, and his opponent, hey, his opponent has to stay here. You seem to forget that sometimes, Joe. His opponent has to make sure that he doesn't do the same thing he did the last round. He ties up there. Blocks that punch. That's it, just like that. Gets rid of that effort. At the halfway point of round still seven. Not moving it up. Smith's really got a way about him when it comes to his footwork, his movement. It's serving him very well defensively. Yes, it is. He's controlling range, he's controlling distance, he's keeping his opponent where he wants him. Back to the body. Now hugging on the inside. Shake it off! That's a crushing 
right hand by Macho. Silks is crushed. Solid. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. over. Macho's gunned down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Smith's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.